Okay guys, so today you and I are going to talk about engineer types. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, what is the difference between DevOps engineers, infrastructure engineers and cloud engineers? The job descriptions I see are mostly the same. Because they are. So. What you're seeing right there, my friend, is the result of us in the IT community being unable to define the boundaries of what a role is. Where someone somewhere probably came up with a very strict set of rules that made a lot of sense to a few people and then when they tried to communicate the specifics of what that role was that label just like uh, this semantics of that thing just didn't really translate into yeah, normal mortal understandable terms and so now we just say whatever seems to be sort of the thing it's uh, something that you will see quite often where if you dare say uh, to tell someone what the microservice is or a uh, i don't know if you're doing agile work practices or if you are using a rest api well what you can probably bet on is that someone's going to correct you and say that you're not actually doing that thing because the specifics of how you do exactly that thing is different from what your definition is and here's the same thing and you kind of just honestly get just comfortable with being um, ambiguous with this and just say the thing that seems to be the thing that translates to everybody else and so whether you call yourself a devops engineer an infrastructure engineer or a cloud engineer it really doesn't matter all that much because the only one who's going to be able to tell you what they mean when they say that thing in in i could apart from you having a very lengthy discussion with potential peers and co-workers and stuff like that is your employer my friend, that is what they, that is the only person who has the right definition. It's the only and only person. This is something that I've struggled with a few times. I've been trying to explain to the front end developers what a front end developer actually is. And I'm just I'm not good enough. I'm not I'm not a good enough teacher to explain that nobody cares what you think a front end developer is because the term means something different one than what it used to be and the term can actually mean different things depending on who's doing the hiring so if you see front end engineer on a CV on a job posting don't be surprised if there are a few back end related things on there as well because the employer doesn't want someone who knows what the front-end developer means they want someone to do the job and the same thing goes here so if you take a job as a devops engineer an infrastructure engineer or a cloud engineer what you the only thing that you can kind of be certain of is that your primary focus is going to be related to the infrastructure of the company and uh, some people will say that well the devops engineers uh, like they work in a certain way and they use certain tools and they have a specific focus area and i go yes semantically if we're really semantic about the thing that is the thing that the definition is supposed to mean but i can promise you your manager may not be as read up on the semantics of what devops means so they might just throw devops on the C on the job posting because they've heard that term and it sort of means that you do op ops work right yeah that's probably right so we'll just put that in there it's sort of like when a uh, a recruiter contacts me about a position for uh, c sharp because it's sort of the same thing as php right because it's like programming it's the same it's the same problem so if you read devops engineer and it looks exactly like cloud engineer and infrastructure engineer just read into that your title is going to be whatever they say it is it doesn't necessarily mean that the next company is going to have the same definition uh, and you kind of just have to live with that you have to read between the lines a little bit here and try to so it's it's almost in some cases like being a native speaker talking to someone who's not a native speaker and like their, their pronunciation isn't perfect you sort of figure out what they're trying to say and just try to bridge the the knowledge gap and then you kind of go with that so the good news here is that as you were saying most of the job descriptions are most uh, are the same so uh, 
yes, I congratulate. I can congratulate you on that. If you know that description, well, then technically you are a DevOps engineer, an infrastructure engineer, and a cloud engineer, all in one. And you didn't even have to learn three completely different professions to get there. That is that is return on investment. So what I want you to take away from this is that it really doesn't matter. 99% of the time what the title on the job posting says about whatever engine it doesn't matter if it's a front and back and any IT person what you have to understand is guys that there are areas of responsibilities in IT so a front end engineer is primarily concerned with UI work back end engineers are primarily focused with back end server code infrastructure devops etc etc it's it's the infrastructure area that they are focused on that is all it means that doesn't mean that you can very strictly say that this is exactly what it is to be a devops engineer or a back end developer or whatever nobody cares about those definitions when you actually go out into the wild what they will do is that they will try to pick the title or some person who fits the needs that they have they want someone to do the job that they have for you and what title they use is just a reflection of how well they understand the semantics of that role. It may not be completely accurate, and in many cases it's not going to be even remotely accurate to the thing that you might be thinking of, but does that really matter? The only thing that really matters at the end of the day is the skills that they are requesting, do you have them? And if you have them, congratulations, they're going to make you the title that they're using because that is all they really care about at the end of the day, that you can do the job. Have a great day.